Hello, and welcome back to part two of our F5 Distributed Cloud Fraud Solutions demo series, Are You Human? My name is Kyle Roberts, and I'm a senior technical marketing engineer with F5. In our demo, we're going to bring our fraud solutions to life by taking you on our journey to showcase how F5 secures organizations against fraud. We'll emphasize F5's unique market position to deliver the flexibility, superior efficacy, and frictionless customer experience while reducing fraud within their applications, regardless of where they reside with simple deployment options. By the end of our demo, you'll see how F5 uniquely protects financial services and online merchants with an integrated platform solution that brings security and fraud teams and data together to stop fraudsters in their tracks. Now let's jump into the first phase of our solution and block the bots that lead to fraud. F5's distributed cloud bot defense works by using JavaScript and an SDK to analyze web and mobile traffic data, analyzing each end user for signs of malicious automation. Some things that differentiate us are the ability to obfuscate our JavaScript and SDK to avoid reverse engineering, the proprietary signals we collect, which are proven effective over many customer deployments, the size of our network, which includes the world's largest B2C brands in finance, banking, e-commerce, hospitality, travel, and more, and our two-stage approach, where stage one, we create rules based on our detection, and stage two, we use AI and human analysis to constantly update the rules. Inside of the Bot Defense dashboard, you have the ability to configure and onboard your applications using our pre-built connectors, download your mobile SDKs and mobile base configurations, and get insights and visibility from detected automation within your applications. In our first demo scenario for preventing the automation that leads to fraud, a bad actor is attempting to perform credential stuffing against the login endpoint of our web application, but it's being protected by a reCAPTCHA. The bad actor is able to retool and defeat the reCAPTCHA using automation and a CAPTCHA solving service via API to scale their attack and successfully inject the stolen credentials for validation. Then we'll demonstrate F5's big IP bot defense connector, providing superior efficacy to prevent the fraudulent automation. F5's approach has been to strongly recommend that organizations avoid human challenges like CAPTCHAs. They introduce user friction, provide a false sense of security, and have limited effectiveness due to inexpensive CAPTCHA solving services. F5 employs dynamic fingerprinting challenges that are protected by our leading obfuscation technology, and we also provide JavaScript challenges to bots. Now let's check out the demo to see it in action. In this demo scenario, we'll be using a demo application called Hackazon. First, let's attempt to log in as a human user without solving the CAPTCHA. We can see that the CAPTCHA is requiring us to validate we're human before signing in. Once we complete the CAPTCHA, it determines that we're humans and we're allowed through. The CAPTCHA is working as expected. Now let's look at how CAPTCHA leverages access tokens to allow authenticated users through. We have two incognito browser windows open side by side if we open Chrome DevTools and find the text area tag of the reCAPTCHA, there's a parameter called display, which is currently set to none. If we delete this or change it to inline, it will display a text box. This text box is where the trusted token goes after you've validated that you're not a robot. Let's make this change on both browser windows. Once that's complete, we can see the text box on both windows. Let's click I'm not a robot on window one and we're presented with a human challenge. Click all the squares that have votes. After we've successfully solved the CAPTCHA, notice that it inserts a trusted token into the text box in window one. Now the thing is, attackers don't actually need to check the I'm not a robot checkbox at all. They just need a token to go in the box. Let's prove it by copying the token from window one and pasting it into window two and log in without ever checking the CAPTCHA box. So all an attacker needs is someone to go to the site and solve the CAPTCHA and send them the token via an API response to their API client. They inject that token and automatically solve the challenge. Now let's automate the process using Selenium with Python and a human CAPTCHA solving service for this attack. As we run the Selenium Python script, we'll see the browser automatically open and begin to inject credentials into the site. As the browser automation is running, we're going to modify the text area tag so we can see the token once it comes back from the 2CAPTCHA API service. 
The bad actor uses the Selenium script with the API to instruct one of the two capture humans to visit the company's site and check the box themselves. They'll get a token because they're human, which they will pass to the fraudster via the API. All the fraudster needs to do is tell the script to place that token into the hidden text box and click submit. The fraudster does not need to check the I'm not a robot checkbox at all, but having a valid token will cause the website to treat the bot as human. And this is why F5's approach has been to strongly recommend that organizations avoid human challenges like CAPTCHAs because it introduces user friction and provides a false sense of security. Our product strategy is to meet our customers where they are to make deployment simple and flexible. Our customers can deploy either in the cloud, on-prem, or as a hybrid configuration. In addition, we have pre-built connectors and leading application platforms, CDNs, and third-party identity and access management solutions to make deployment easy and fast. Inside of our distributed cloud tenant, we've pre-configured the Bot Defense Service and Big IP IAP connector. We can see that under Manage Applications, we have the Hackazon IBD app name and the Big IP IAP connector type. We use the information found by clicking on the ellipsis to add the cloud app and tenant information to the Big IP proxy that will be protecting our Hackazon login page. Moving to the Big IP IAP configuration, we can see the template has been imported, which contains all the information for our distributed cloud tenant shown previously. If we open up the IAP, let's look at a few key parameters. We can see the distributed cloud bot app service is referencing the template we imported. We have JavaScript injection enabled being inserted after the head tag, and we've specified the endpoints to be monitored by the bot defense service for the login page of our Hackazon application with an action of block for any automated post requests. Now let's run our automation script again and see the service in action. As we run the browser automation script, we'll see the browser window open as we did before and start entering username and password information. The initial page load would be blocked as well if we had specified automated GET requests in addition to posts to be blocked in the IAP configuration earlier. The script sends the reCAPTCHA site key over to toCAPTCHA and a human will solve the CAPTCHA and send us back a token. This time, however, we're blocking any automated transactions from HTTP posts into our user login endpoint. Even though the CAPTCHA is easily bypassed here, we're able to detect that this transaction is not human and it's malicious and block the automation. Back inside of the Bot Defense dashboard, we have many insights to facilitate investigation of unwanted automation that leads to fraud. First, we can see a breakdown of the detected traffic types within our protected application. We have human traffic, good bots, and malicious automation. The traffic overview provides us with an area or bar type view of this data as well. We also notice our top endpoints attacked from our recent automation demo and can dive deeper into all of this information if needed. Our automated threat briefings provide additional reports to complement the automated threat insights in addition to the existing meetings customers already have with their threat analysts. This helps provide more frequent analytics with at a glance roll up view of fraudulent automation in their applications. Thanks for tuning in to part two of our Fraud Solutions demo series to showcase how F5 secures organizations against fraud using our multi-method approach. Make sure to check out part three of our Fraud Solutions demo, Are You a Fraudster?